Hey, what's up everyone? In this new lesson, I'm gonna show you how to simulate any kind of remote. So by the end of this video, you will be able to control any device using the Arduino. For me, I'm gonna use this remote that controls the RGB light panels. For example, I can turn it on and off using these keys. Also, I can change the color to a green color or blue. Of course, you could use other remotes like the remote of the TV and so on. Basically, we're gonna use the AR receiver, which receives the infrared light that this remote sends. Then we're gonna save these informations to a text file so that we can use them with the AR sender. So this sends the same light of the AR remote. We can hook it up to the Arduino and use the same codes. Of course, you will need few push buttons. I will only use two, which are the on and the off keys. But you could use as many keys as you want. You could also use the keypad matrix. So this is a 4x4 keypad matrix, which consists of 16 keys, which you can hook up to the Arduino using 8 wires and control your device. First of all, we need to hook up this AR receiver. Basically, it consists of three pins. The signal pin on the right side. I'm going to hook it up to digital pin number two of the Arduino. Then we have to power it up. The middle leg is the VCC, which goes to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. And the left leg is the ground. We have this minus sign, which goes to the GND of the Arduino. And let's start by connecting the GND, which is the left pin, to the GND of the Arduino. The middle leg is the VCC, which goes to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Finally, we can read the infrared light by using the signal pin. Actually, we will use a library that allows you to control it very easily. So the signal pin goes to the digital pin number 2. Of course, you could use any of the digital pins. You will find this project, which is called AR Remote Hack, from the link under the description. Let's open it up, which basically contains two folders. The first one is the receiver, which we're going to use to get the codes. Let's open it up. First, you have to install the AR remote library. So this is not built in. You have to install it using tools, then manage libraries. Just write the name of the library, which is AR remote. And it's this one. For me, it's already installed. Make sure to hit install. Then let's select the Arduino board using tools. Under board, I've already selected the Arduino Uno from here. Make sure to select the right one, like the Nano, if you have the Nano. Then select the port of the USB cable. So this basically will read the infrared light using the library. And it will be displayed on the serial monitor with this baud rate 9600. Let's hit upload. Then we can open up the serial monitor using tools, serial monitor. Make sure to select the right board rate, which is 9600. Then we can take the remote. And if you press the off key, you will see all of the information about it, like the protocol, the address, the command, and the raw data, which is a hexadecimal code that you could use to send the same infrared light. Actually, we have two options. You could use this code, or we can take these two values, which are the address and the command. Anyways, let's copy all of this information using Ctrl C. Then I'm going to open up a text editor and use Ctrl V. So this is the off key. I'm going to add the name off. And the same thing, let's press the on key. Then we'll have other information about it. As you can see, we have the same address, but the command is not the same. That's why it's recommended to use these two codes to send the infrared light and not the raw data. So let's copy it using Ctrl C. Then I'm gonna write on and use Ctrl V. Make sure to save this file. Now let's move on to the other circuit, which is the AR sender. I'm going to close this sketch. First of all, I'm going to remove the AR receiver. We don't need it. Of course, you could leave it like that. 
then we're gonna hook up this AR sender that sends the infrared light basically it's like an LED it has a longer leg which is the anode and the shorter one is the cathode which goes to the GND of the Arduino but the other leg we're gonna connect it to digital pin number three so that we can control it I'm gonna fix it on the breadboard like this and connect the GND to the GND of the Arduino and the longer leg goes to digital pin number three we can test the AR sender without connecting the push buttons for example we can use the setup function to send the code of the on key and that will turn on the RGB light panels we can open up the sender folder then the sender sketch we have the same library make sure it is installed then I've created few variables like the AR sender pin we are using the pin number 3 if you are using another pin make sure to change it from here these pins are for the buttons basically we can check if we have pressed one of the push buttons that we can hook up to the digital pins number 12 and 11 under the setup function we are using arsender.begin to enable the AR sender this takes two parameters the first one is the pin which is number 3 also we have a feedback LED I'm gonna use the built-in LED that is connected to the digital pin number 13 this LED will turn on when we send an IR code using the AR sender after that I've added the pin mode because we want to use the on pin and the off pin as an input pull up under the loop function we are checking if we have pressed the on key or the push button that is connected to the pin on pin which is number 12 in that case we send the code of the on key using AR sender dot send NEC this function takes three parameters the first one is the address of the infrared light which is this address that we have saved it's the same for the on and the off keys and the second parameter is the command the off key has the command 0x2 and the on key has the command 0x3 so this function will send the same IR code of the on key and the last parameter is the number of repeats and that's to ensure that the code is sent and received by the device we can repeat the process two times or three times as you want and the same thing for the off key if we press it the read command returns the value zero in such case we are using the same function arsender.sendNEC both keys has the same address and the command is 0x2 for the off key as you can see actually we have another function that takes the raw data instead of the command and the address but it's not recommended it is commented here which is arsender.sendNEC raw it takes two parameters the raw data and the number of repeats I'm gonna comment this line of code and because I haven't connected the push buttons I will simply go to the setup function and send the code of the on key because the RGB light panels are off for now I'm gonna copy this line of code then let's paste it under the setup function after initializing the AR sender of course and let's hit upload and as you can see the RGB light panels turns on we can turn it off using the other command or the other code which is 0x2 for the off key and let's hit upload again now that we know that the AR sender is working we can add these two push buttons I've talked about them in depth basically it has four leads but you could use only two because it's symmetrical one of the leads goes to the GND of the Arduino and the other one we need to hook it up to the digital pin that we are using in our case we are using the digital pin number 12 as the on pin and the pin number 11 as the off pin but before that I'm gonna create a ground rail so that we can add as many push buttons as we want we connect the GND pin of the Arduino to one of these points because they are connected to each other we can use these as GND the same thing we can use it to power the AR sender 
I'm gonna connect it like this. Then let's start by hooking up the first push button. As I said, one of the leads goes to the ground. It doesn't matter which lead. I'm gonna connect this one to the ground. And the other lead goes to digital pin number 11. And finally, I'm gonna add the second push button. We connect one of the leads to the ground. And the other one goes to digital pin number 12. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna upload this code using the upload button. And let's check if it's working. And yeah, we can turn it on and off using the Arduino and not the remote. You could use both of them. I can turn it off and turn it on from here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. I appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one.